action. Uh, I know Efren is undefeated in nine ball, but it's good to be back with you. By the way, my name's Ken Schumann, and we got a rail. Yeah, but if it doesn't take the left side of rail away when he does it, Efren's got an easy kick. There he goes. Perfect. I will look for you. I will find you. You got a rail? Yeah. <coughs> You're proud of that. I know should. This will start. Watch this. <coughs> Efren's got to get, uh, got to get a little bit tighter. This is going on for four racks. Oh, no, no. Welcome back, Pooh well fans. This match will surely amaze you as Efren Bata Reyes takes on the American player Bobby Pickle of the 2007 Derby City Classic Nine Ball Championships. This match is full of action and surprises, strategic pull shots, and many more. This match is a race to seven game winner's break format. Pickle missed the two ball here, but he got the cue ball on the safe spot. But watch what the magician does here. A friend was able to make the two ball with a precise kick shot. But watch what he does to the three ball next. And Efren played another six-way shot. Uh, he played a two-way shot there. He tried a double bank on the nine ball and played safe at the same time. He was then rewarded with ball in hand as Bobby Pickle scratched. The magician's strategic mastery gives him an edge in every match ensuring he maintains control regardless of the shot's outcome. He meticulously plans each shot, strategizing on how to outmaneuver his opponents. The Filipino legend scored first in this match. We now move on to rock number two. Bobby Pickle on the table. Uh, his eyes are, are fine and uh, he's uh, hale and healthy. So, uh, long with I don't know. All right, here's he may have a quick rack here as the 5 or 9 combination is available for his advantage. Okay, a good speed in the so, the American player makes the combination and ties the match one apiece. Let us proceed to rock number three. Efren makes the three ball here, but he got no shot on the four ball, so instead he makes this simple safety shot. I watch you anyway, uh, real quick on the one pocket. Uh, and, wound up with, uh... and watch the four ball here as Bobby Pickle counters with a great safety shot against the Magician. But watch how Efren lines up his cue stick. He lines it up between the 6 and the 8 ball. He wants the cue ball to go between these two balls after contact with the 4. Watch this shot very carefully. Now this is no accident ladies and gentlemen. This is no accident. Did you see that? I told you that's what Efren was able to execute in incredible precision. This goes to show how the magician knows every inch of the cue ball trajectory. He's going to miss the five ball and the only fortunate thing there is the uh, in the cue ball on the uh, inside of the two balls. There may be enough room for that. Yep. Absolutely. And again, Efren was rewarded with ball in hand and was able to knock off the clustered balls to open this rack out. Yeah, he overhit it just a little, but uh, he 
you got to come up long on that shot. You can't come short there six days, seven days into this thing. But he splits the cup. Efren Reyes is 53 years of age at this time. 400 players in nine ball again. 400 players. Uh, each of them uh, looking ahead in some of the statistics. Uh, it, uh, we now proceed to two rock four. Efren now leads two rocks to one. He got the upper hand here after he makes a really good uh, safety shot. Through his gameplay, Efren demonstrates that even a seemingly basic defensive shot can have a profound impact. Efren showcases that defense can be a potent form of offense. We now move on to Rock 5, Efren leading 3 rocks to 2. We're spoiled. I mean, I'm he makes a really impressive spoiled. soft break here. He makes a ball and sets himself up with an open look on the one ball. So anyway, we were, and I'm going to read him this time in, in reverse order. Mr. 400 Schmidt ran 90. One impressive aspect of Efren's play is his exceptional control over the cue ball. Now, who do you think ran the most balls out of, out of this group? I have D1 going into today. Now, this may surprise some of you, but there may not others. I had a pretty good effort yesterday, and, you know, pretty jacked up. Now, this is Rock 6. Efren with a commanding lead of 4 rocks to 1. Bobby Pickle may have a quick rock here as the table offers a 2 9 combination. Well hit, well hit. Now here's something we don't see with flowers. And speaking of that, and this is Rock 7. Efren here playing a defensive shot on the one ball. Just player. You're just uh, um, seven deep watching him play chess. I mean, are you kidding? Alright, Efren's got ball and he's going over to mark up his speed. He's trying to figure out. Bobby Pickle misses the kick on the one ball and again the magician with ball in hand. Three? No, Bobby. Efren's got four. And he's probably going to have five. The side of the four and run out. And that's exactly what he's doing because he could not uh, hold the. Efren Reyes will now have an open table layout. Another remarkable aspect of Efren's gameplay is his ability to find solutions for challenging layouts. He showcases his creativity by ingeniously maneuvering throughout difficult racks. And juggle the fact that half the guys are in them and answer a million questions. You know, when do I play? And, uh, I need to do this. Uh, anyway, it's. Uh Moving on to Rock 10, Bobby Pickle successfully closed the gap, trailing Efren by just one rack. The score now stands at 5 to 4 in favor of Efren. However, luck seems to be favoring the American player once again in this rack. After missing the 5 ball, he landed the cue ball in a safety position. Efren is left without a direct shot on the ball. But once again, the magician astounds everyone with his incredible kick shots. He played this, he played this. Efren then attempts a defensive play, but unfortunately, it did not work out as planned. That's right. yeah. Look at this, watch this roll, Scotty, watch this. 
<laughs> but watch this again. Pickle misses another shot. But once again, he lands in a fortunate safety position. It seems to be a lucky day for the American player. <laughs> well, Scotty back kicks the seven in the side. Oh, no, no. But of course, the magician will have a response. He manages to kick the seven ball, but unfortunately, he gets too close to the nine ball. This is a disappointing turn for Efren as he scratch this time. The magician seems to have run out of luck on this occasion. I guess he couldn't see it. You know, we're, we're at about a 45. All right, made a good solid hit on it. And uh, let's see where this baby stops. It hits a 7 full. This is Rock 11. The score now is tied. Five apiece. In the middle of the table. Efren will have an open table here as Pickle missed the shot. I think he's coming under the 7. Uh huh. Under the 7. And notice, uh, if he runs this out, he will get to the hill first. And, uh, you know, I mean, this may sound uh, a little bit strange. Uh, actually, uh, had a pretty good opportunity this game. Now it's coming up. It's coming up in the center of the table. Follow it with his famous inside. That's Bobby Pickle decides to concede this rock, putting Efren on the hill first. And that's pretty unlikely, so uh, it looks like uh, Bata is going to lock himself up by his sixth all-around championship second. Playing uh, three disciplines. This is Rock 12. Bobby Pickle makes a really good defensive shot here. So he just wants to miss the two ball here. See, but by just missing the two ball, Efren was able to make contact but left the one ball open for Pickle. Corner where he's standing, so he's got to get the two in the side. And see, he was worried about it. I think he jumped up a little bit too. This might be the big chance for Efren to win this match, but let's see what happens here. This is a huge setback for the magician as he scratched on the side pocket. It's a really unfortunate turn of events. The outcome of the match is now uncertain, as Bobby Pickle catches Efren on the hill. Unexpectedly, Pickle missed an easy shot on the 8th ball. However, Efren made the bold decision to attack the 8th ball but unfortunately missed it into the corner pocket giving Pickle an easy opportunity to finish the rack. Moving on to the final rack, the American player on the break. Soft with right hand English. He's trying to get behind the seven. Yeah. I, I can't tell. As the match reached the final rack, both players became incredibly cautious and strategic. Look at 
to be honest, the American player had an unusually high number of fortunate rolls throughout the match. It seemed luck was on his side as he repeatedly found himself in favorable positions after seemingly difficult shots. These fortunate rolls provided him with opportunities to capitalize and gain advantage. Efren Reyes, on the other hand, faced several unfortunate rolls and scratch shots, which added to the challenge he faced in trying to secure victory. And again, witness this incredible kick shot from the Filipino legend. Seems like day 27. He got a rail. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Both the audience and his opponent couldn't help but applaud Efren for his incredible escape kick shot. Even his opponent, though disappointed, couldn't deny the sheer talent and creativity displayed by Efren in that shot. It was a testament to his ability to think outside the box and find solutions in the most challenging situations. You don't want to be straight. No, he's not straight. And he's On the other hand, the American player here is seizing this opportunity to win this match. Efren had a 5-2 lead and a lead and a miss. Finally, Bobby Pickle won this match against the Magician 7-6. Though Efren may have lost this match, his performance was nothing short of amazing. He showcased his incredible skills, strategic thinking, and entertaining style of play, leaving a lasting impression on the audience despite the outcome. Efren's talent and showmanship were undeniable. And he proved once again why he is regarded as one of the greatest players in the world. His ability to captivate and entertain spectators even in defeat is a testament to his remarkable presence in the game of pool. Like this video, pool fans, and subscribe so I will see you in the next one. God bless.